I am uh, looking at this uh, old tape recorder today. Real to real tape recorders ago, it's probably not that old, uh, from the 1980s. Um, obsolete technology and all that. Um, this is kind of supposedly a hi fi reel to reel recorder Philips uh, N7150, um, the most plastic tape deck you could possibly get. Um, saying that it's it's okay for, for it was a kind of cheaper hi fi uh, unit, but um, yeah, with age, plastic doesn't do particularly well. I've just replaced the belts on this. The belts have perished for the, the counter here. And uh, I decided just to change the main capstan roller as well, a bearing uh, belt at the same time. Uh, so I thought I would address a couple of other problems. The uh, lights had gone on these meters here and the backlit. And inside, the, the common problem with these is the power switch uh, fails as well. So I've actually found a push replacement one um, from an old television actually and that kind of fits okay but you can see internally it's there's quite a lot of plastic in this the casings plastic um, all the mountings for the the motors are all plastic as well mostly except maybe the hubs are onto small steel chassis um, claims to have three heads three motors it actually has an extra motor the three main motors I mean the capstan roller and the, the, the pickup spools each of motors but there's also another one buried in here which is to drive the 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 pinch roller in this is a really unusual way of um, loading tape uh, the when the tape runs through here you don't have to feed it through uh, any particular gap because the pinch roller is recessed and when it's powered up that comes out and pinches onto the rollers so uh, it's slightly useful uh, for sp speeding up tape loading but otherwise a bit of a gimmick and of course mechanical and areas like that can fail as well uh, all analog a little circuit board built very much like television sets were at the time um, but saying that the um, output's not that bad actually uh, when it's running so I'll see if we can get it going again Okay, the uh, managed to get the switch replaced, so it's kind of in here, and managed to get it situated. So it's an ex not an exact fit, but it uh, operates properly, so it's a suitable replacement. So the belts were a bit of a pain to replace. This one here, this is the capstan one, and there's also the pulley one here that runs off this uh, hub motor. Uh, this needs to be completely dismantled in order to loop that belt in uh, and to some extent this does too which is a problem is there's a very fancy little uh, cam switch here which can be upset so if we start to look at the other issue at the front we shall change the light in this in this meter here I've already measured the voltage. The voltage on the supply to the lights is 15 volts, but I have to check the polarity and, uh, and then this opens up and we can change the light. So I've taken the light bulb out and I'm putting in an LED, one of these little LED filament things that you use in light bulbs. These are actually quite good, particularly when they're warm white. And I just have to, the only thing is I've had to add a resistor in in place because to ballast it. So I just have to connect that back up without getting in the way of the actual meter mechanism hopefully. You can't take too much heat on these because the um, the casing soft plastic and it melts. Be able to take the heat a bit longer. Yeah, well, 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 well. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so with that in place, we can start putting it back together again. Okay. 
just like there, just two more screws to fit in. Okay, another problem I've had with these is the tapes themselves, because of the age of them, they are starting to decay. Um, not clear in this part of it, but some of the um, the coating is coming away. It's kind of shedding or, or tearing off. Uh, I believe it's moisture kind of part to blame where it's tightly packed together, and when it pulls apart, it it can stick to the other side of the tape. So there can be a problem with tape, old tapes as well. Uh, but as I swilling up this particular setup, it's quite straightforward. Because the capstan roller is re uh, retracted under the casing, it's quite uh, quite easy to thread the tape up, and then uh, the buttons are all quite nice, light touch buttons, and you can see the capstan roller pinches right away there. The other thing that it's had is this, if you can put a metal tape here, it will cut. It stops once it loads itself up, which is quite nice. It also stops the unspooling and uh, running with the empty spools. Okay, this is the uh, problem we get with the tape with moisture and uh, aging where it delaminates and you can see the oxide coating has uh, started to come away unfortunately. So that affects the recording rather a lot because uh, not only are you losing some of the magnetic recording but it also sticks onto the, the back of the tape somewhere else and gives you a kind of cross channel talk as it goes by too. So I think uh, the tapes have sat around too long. <laughs>